Right, I'm here with Gavin Robinson. Gavin, congratulations today. Um, with two laps to go, there was about seven guys off the front. Correct. Um, did you think they were going to come back? What was your strategy? Um, I didn't really think they were going to come back. At one point, I thought that was it. You know what I mean? But for some reason, like, we looked up and we, we were really we were really going hard. And we looked up and all of a sudden we saw the break ahead of us. It just looked like it wasn't organized anymore, and we were able to capitalize off of that and just kind of you know pull them back in. Was there any one team chasing the breakdown? Did anybody get organized to chase I think um, United helped a lot. Um, Minjoni, they did a couple work up front, and um, I myself kind of participated with a couple of my teammates, and we were able to be successful in pulling it back. Cool. Yeah. Now, describe the last kilometer of the race. What was, oh, what was that, that was, like? That was, oh man, I don't know if I've ever been involved in, in something like that. I guess I was just in the right place at the right time. Um, John in the yellow jersey, he kind of let it out at the right time, and I was, I was like right on his wheel, and it was like perfect. I mean, he made the right move for me, I would say. Yeah. And I kind of just, you know, capitalized off of that and came up with the win. Was there any one team trying to form a lead out, or was it every man for himself? Um, at that point, um, I think uh, Die Hard tried to lead out uh, Ricky, but there wasn't any team in particular that tried to, you know, lead it out. But it was just so sketchy. It was just, you know, all over the place. It was like every man for himself. Yeah. Much. That was a good win. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Charlie. Take care. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.